Mr. Chen Shaw. I'm with RV Max US in Greenville, South Carolina, where we'll bring you beautiful buses like this. We're just privileged to present you Clint Black's bus. It's a 2006 Van Terry converted by Featherlight. Just a beautiful, gorgeous coach. It looks like 2017, but it's a 2006. And he would say, why? Well, because it was completely updated in 2017 with all front new looks, the back cap, the front cap, all clear coat was taken care of it. It looks like rolling down the road, a 2017 model Prevo Venteri H345 bus that is a 2006 model. It is in great shape. And let me tell you, we have a little experience in selling Prevo bus. We're not an expert or know it all. I would never claim that, but I drove a 2010 Prevo Venteri a few months ago with the about 100,000 miles. This one's got a half a million miles, but I'm gonna tell you what, this thing put that other coach to shame because they have maintained it to the top. When it was not on the road, on a tour singing, it was at Prevo facility, factory uh, facility in Nashville, Tennessee. None of the, uh, what do you call, none of the components are not being taken care of. I mean, I, Mr. John Giles, the, the driver of it, he's a meticulous. He's been driving buses over two decades, uh, very well maintained. It is tight, the, drive, the way it drives, I mean, again, people who knows Prevo buses, these machines are made to go millions of miles, uh, made out of a stainless steel structure. Uh, it just goes forever. You see all the headlights and all that's all updated in 2017. Two slide outs, uh, 365 updated tires in the front, Michelin, all LED lights, all throughout. Take a look at this shine. It is just gorgeous piece of machine. You arrive at your campground or the destination or resort, you know you just rolled in a $2 million bus. It is a Detroit Series 60, the legendary, none other than Detroit. Those engines are just known to go forever and ever. You can't stop them. So the back cap also been updated, as you can see here. Gorgeous coloring, as you see that little fade in that little burgundy part. Let's go inside and show you this gorgeous bus. This interior is so beautiful that I want to show it to you myself. So come on, let's go inside. So as you interact with this coach, you will find that it's not your typical 2006 Featherlight. And it has this rustic feel about it. We've got this gorgeous wood that sort of crisscross and encloses this weathered looking tile that has this really intricate grout work done to it because they're aged which requires all the, which means all the edges aren't perfectly straight. So all the grout work took so much time to put this all together. And this, and this gorgeous tiling goes all the way down into the step well from the very time, from the very moment you step your foot into it, all the way up into the cap main cabin space of the coach. Now, right here, we have one of the most sleek and comfortable recliners you'll find in a bus. It's pretty impressive actually. I thought it was a manual recliner. Most of these Featherlight coaches, especially at this era, they wanted to put these sleek looking recliners and a lot of them were manual. Most all of them that I've seen are manual. This one is electric, so two buttons right here. Very simple to operate. That's the main tilt, so it essentially becomes like a zero gravity chair and uh, I sat in it and it is extraordinarily comfortable. I appreciate that you can do both moves at the same time. So I guess this is where uh, I would imagine Mr. Black sat after shows because it's a perfect spot, um, especially if you wanna collect some cool air coming off cruise air number one. Perfect spot, it's, it's absolutely gorgeous. I almost fell asleep myself about 10 minutes ago in this. But this has the RTI setup. So what that means is all your systems, your breakers, your lights, your shade controls, your TVs, the Sonos sound system, that's right, it has a Sonos sound system throughout the coach. 
that is tied into the RTI. So there are two remote controllers like this where you can control everything via a touch screen and there's also some keypads down here that make interacting with the TV much nicer. And you also have this iPad right here which is the exact same thing except much bigger and it's extremely easy to control everything, your circuit breaker shades, you can fill your tank from here, you can turn your water pump on from here, and you know what I really like? You can actually unlock and lock the door from here too, because look at that. That is unbelievably nice. You know, if I'm out, you know, I stop somewhere temporarily overnight, I really wanna make sure, hey, is my door locked? Or even if I'm at a campground before I go to bed, is my door locked? And a lot of times I'll walk up to the front, not in this bus, in this bus, all you need is this RTI controller, which there's one right by the headboard. Now up front is where our, what looks to be about a 52 or 55 inch Sony smart TV with one of the slickest looking controllers. I've seen these controllers before. Sony has the best TV controllers. Controllers. It has this nice material on both sides and all the clicks are super satisfying, but this looks like it has never been touched and that is because everything is controlled through the RTI. Uh, you control the satellite, the antenna, the TVs, everything in the TVs. Nothing is held back from these. So that is your main control center. It's a huge upgrade. This area in general could be used as a little desk if you'd like. Huge piece of Corian, lots of storage bays underneath. And as we roll into the galley and eating space, that's what I call it. I come up with my own terms. So eating area and the galley space. So first, the galley space. Big Corium piece, and this is typical from Featherlight of the time, but this is pretty unique. This little piping here, it looks like it's in, and it looks like it's been buried out, and they put a clear material over it, and it's beautiful. Now this lip is nice too, so if you spill something, you're not gonna make a mess down all these gorgeous cabinets. And uh, being a Prevo bus, we have huge windows. So you have a huge window right here in this monstrosity of a glass accent piece. I mean, this is beautiful. It's so thick. We've got outlets, all that good stuff. And the type of, uh, the type of coach this is, you can, you can really tell how far they're going with their craftsmanship when you notice things like this piece being finished out with leather. And even back here, this is a carpeting material that's a designer carpeting material that matches the rest of the design in the coach. How often are you really going to see that? I mean, they didn't have to. This is a beautiful finished out piece. This is all leather. And look at this. You almost can't see the seam in this cutout that covers our stove here. When you're looking back here, if you're at a slight angle, you actually, I can't see it right now. Um, the only places I can see it is around here. So you pick this up. And out of nowhere, you have a dual burner Kent Kenyan stove. Let me place this piece right back down. So, a few little compartments to cover. First of all is this one. That's kind of unique. This is the first uh, storage compartment I've seen in a Featherlight that's used this mechanism. I was actually quite confused when I saw it because most of them are like this, right? You just pull it. But look at that, automatic lights. Not for that one. But automatic lights for most all of your storage compartments, including this one. Um, by the way, what a cool little piece this is. Um, it curves, it's a weird curve for a storage compartment. Wow, check that out. On a full slide, all solid built wood, beautiful little piece. They have this thing set up and from what, and what it looks like to me is they are experienced in the bus world because all these colors are just chosen perfectly together. The exterior looks beautiful. It really looks, I mean, you could pass this as a $2 million bus quite easily. Now, right here we have our dinette. This is a really, uh, this is a cool piece. Same idea as the piping on the dinette and all the Corian has this. It's like an inlay. It looks like it's down in there, but it's not. It's a smooth, flat surface that you can move via this button. So when you put the slide in, you would go all the way in with it. And when you put the slide out and you wanna eat, you could put it all the way out and that's it. And this piece extends too. So this is the leather part of the couch 
And uh, I actually think this is a genius idea. I don't know why more people haven't done this. So you've got a little more of a spot to sit right here instead of having to get a fold out chair out. It's a interesting way to attack that. This color on this beautiful cabinetry that's in this feather light is a color that's quite unique. They have, it's like a, it's like a, it's like a gorgeous metallic bronze and actually all the carpeting inside is that same kind of bronze color, the little pieces on all of the drawers that lock them in place are a bronze color and all the little latches are like a bronze chocolate color and the microwave is so hidden that I almost forgot about it. It's right here behind this gorgeous roller piece. It's an Advantum 120 microwave slash convection oven. So you'll be able to bake in this and microwave in it. So right here we have this beautiful Whirlpool stainless steel refrigerator. It's gorgeous, it's huge, it has, it has filtered water, built-in ice maker, and a huge amount of storage capacity. It's absolutely massive. And somebody's gonna get an absolutely stunning coach. I mean, you pull up anywhere in this, this looks like a $2 million bus. It feels like a $2 million bus too. That's the really cool part about it. Check this out. Absolutely massive pantry. Just admiring all the little details here. There's so many details to admire on these coaches. But anyways, carpeting, same color as the chocolate, chocolate carpeting, beautiful wood. Clicks into place, so it's not going anywhere, but you have a little lock just in case. That is an intake for one of your cruise airs. So right here, we have the bathroom area and there's a pocket door right there just, I mean, three inches beyond that refrigerator that cuts this space off as your bathroom. And on the right in this hallway, first of all, as you walk past this absolutely ginormous piece of Corian, you will notice your pretty large shower here. Tempered glass, all surrounded in Corian, so it's not just a free hanging piece of glass. It's actually a big piece of stone and glass that make out this door. Now, as you open it, you will see that it's huge and that it looks like it was built yesterday. This is a gorgeous material. It hasn't aged a bit. It looks brand new. And honestly, I, it, it makes me think that they did upgrades to it. Um, but as I found pictures online of this coach in the past, it looks like this is how they spec'd it out originally. They have amazing taste. Anyways, this piece down here is beautiful. I love how they, you know, these always kind of slant here. So if you're on a slight, you know, it's not perfectly level, it'll still drain. And these little crevices are beautiful, I think. And I always like how they make this out of stone. Like that's out of Corian. It's just a drain. So when you open the door, it rolls down into, it works too. I'll tell you what, the water rolls down in there and then comes back into your coach. Um, I mean, into your coach, into your shower. So this is an interesting point. There's a beautiful viewing area right here and you can shut it off too. Uh, so you just click this button right there and it's gone. But yes, that is a cool little spot. Featherlight loves doing that. Uh, so right here, let's go ahead and, oh, oh, I forgot to mention. I love how we have this huge built-in Corian piece here. So you could actually store some serious stuff in here. It's not the tiny little thing. That could be used as a seat. And this, I almost forgot to mention this because it's so freaking normal on a coach like this, is that that is a thermostatically controlled faucet. So you set the temperature you want, and then it gives you the temperature you want. That's it. This controls the pressure. So that's a beautiful setup. You never have to think, I mean, as, oh, wow, you know, picking your point of how hot the water, you know, how, how, how much hot water you want is quite stressful, right? really needed this but actually it is pretty nice i tell you what you get used to these features very quickly all right so right here is our bathroom our toilet area and we have a gorgeous sink and check out that backsplash the backsplash matches the entrance step perfectly it's like this little mosaic stone huge piece right there i love that we have a sink i love that we have a sink in this in this bathroom and on the right the wall is covered in this gorgeous material that looks like it's, uh, you know, I was thinking some kind of horse hair, but I'm not sure, but it looks like some kind of animal fur that has been tied down to make the wall. And I think it's beautiful. That's, and the, the flooring looks perfect in here because the toilet is surrounded by two outshoots of wood. And that's a huge porcelain toilet, by the way, absolutely huge. 
And uh, oh yeah, you probably didn't notice, there's a hidden fantastic fan up in the top. So that piece will come out if you want to clean it, but it covers up your beautiful fantastic fan. You just push a button and it works. So in the back here, we are going to step into the master suite, which is actually pretty large. Um, this is a king size bed here with a beautiful head headboard. It's got this thick pieces. It feels very sturdy. Leathers all around here. These walls are all leather. The slides don't look like they're slides. They're perfectly hidden in the coach. That's the cool thing about these finished out buses like this is the slides stay hidden when they're out. You can't tell, you, you just look like you're in this beautiful suite. Windows are huge. We've got electric shades here. This is a gorgeous little display spot with accent lights built in. There's accent lights above it, and that's same to be set up there and all around the bed. Accent lights are perfect to use at night when you just want a little bit of lighting. You don't want too much. Perfect to use accent lights. So these are like little hampers that are built in, right? Check that out. That's super sweet. And this is a nice sink. I love that there's a sink here and I love that there's also room to like wash your face here. There's not a mirror like right there, you know? Huge piece. I love that there's a lot of space. Give me more countertop space, please. And all these, this, even though this is beautifully curved, this whole piece is beautifully curved to just go and flow with the style. There's still huge amounts of storage in, the, in here. You know, it doesn't matter if the drawer has to be like this to fit, they will make it custom and make this thing look slick and also extremely functional. Now back here we have our main control center. And this is where you'll monitor all your main systems on the bus. So first of all, you'll you can quickly see how much you're drawing right here. As you can see, we're drawing quite a bit of power. Um, actually, I'm surprised our 50 amp hasn't tripped already. We're drawing about 55 amps, 54 amps. We have our two Xantrex inverter controllers right here. So this is where you'll operate Gen Start, Auto Gen Start. There's buttons for Gen Start as well. Your inverters, you can set, check meters and your batteries. This, these also act as chargers for your batteries. And down here we can see generator engine oil pressure and generator water temperature. So this has a 170 gallon fresh water tank, an 81 gallon gray tank, and an 81 gallon black tank, which is huge and very convenient to have big tanks. Here we can click, now you can do all of this stuff through the RTI, um, but you also have some buttons here if you want to manually press the button. So if you're plugged into city water, you can click that button real quick and it'll switch a valve and fill your water tank automatically. Once the water tank is full, it will automatically switch back and just give your plumbing system pressure again. Super nice to have that. You wanna fill up before you take off, stuff like that. We have our Shade Master. Um, the Aqua Hot can quickly and easily provide you with nice hot water with the electric element, and it will also give you heat and furnace heat just by running the engine. But the diesel heat hot water is beautiful, especially with this big Mach 5 pump. You're gonna be in that shower just enjoying that water pressure and that hot water, let me tell you. We've got cruise air controls here, a Dometic roof air control right here, and that is the main control center. But this is honestly, I shouldn't say main control center, this is the old main control center. Main control center now is through those RTI touchscreen. But so right by the headboard, we have an incredible amount of controls. First of all, we have a multiplex switch control cluster that's replicated on the other side of this headboard. So this has shades, you know, diesel heat, hot water, your ceiling fan, lots of lights, exterior lights, all that good stuff from right here in the coach. Another thing Featherlight Coach does that's really convenient is they give you all your heating and cooling controls right by the headboard. So this is our main controller for our furnace heat that comes from our diesel heat hot water, our aqua hot. So this is the main rear zone of furnace heat right by the headboard. And we have our main rear cruise air control right here as well. Now on the left, you'll notice an updated AI phone, which will give us a screen so you can see who's at your door. You can talk to them. It's quite nice to have. And as I just mentioned, it is not original. That's an updated version of it. Now, if that wasn't enough control, the RTI goes like, many steps beyond. I mean, we control everything here, as we have probably previously mentioned. Shades, lights, 
circuit breakers, water pump, utility, you name it, it's all through the RTI. So if all this wasn't enough, you know, you have this as well. And remember, this cluster is on the other side, and if the other side wants more controls than they already have, just hand them this remote. Quite nice, quite convenient. And you really get used to this kind of stuff in a bus like this, and it goes a long way, let me tell you. Now, back here, and I just look at these pieces. They're all just Corian pieces here. There's so many little details that you don't notice until you spend a lot of time with the bus. Now, back here, we have a huge walk-in closet. And right here on the right, we see uh, Clint Black. Nice little plaque there. And actually, the RTI system is a background. They have a guitar in the background, too, which is kind of cool. This is our track vision control, satellite power, direct TV box, and an incredible amount of space. So we've got these beautiful drawers. There's, let's see how deep, look how deep that is. Holy cow, that's deep. And there are one, two, three, four, and the two on the bottom are even deeper. Absolutely massive. We've got this storage right here. Look at this, it's crazy. All carpeted out. You can adjust these shelves too, by the way. Locks into, oh, that locks into place. You know what else? You know what I really like? These used to annoy me for all the operations, but now I'm learning when these are in, that stuff, that isn't catching you going by. So let's open this up. And we have a dryer, but not a washer, but the hookups are all in there. So if you wanted to quickly install, if you wanted to install a washer, it wouldn't really be that big of a hassle. You put one down here and hook it up. Now we've got nice cabinets over here, solid, well-built, lots of beautiful carpeting. Everything feels very nice in here. And check out that rear, check out that hanger back there. We've got a mirror up in the ceiling. It's an absolutely gorgeous walk-in closet back here. It's beautiful. It feels very, I just, it feels nice and just purposefully built. Like this would be a very useful walk-in closet. Very well lit too. I wanted to quickly point out that this couch right here does jackknife and you just push a button, it's quite simple. Press a button like that. And now you have a pretty sizable bed. Um, the length is quite good and the width is quite good. And I love how they finished this out back here too. So once it's flat, it's not just like some random wall that's clearly not finished and not thought about. So, of course, we have privacy blinds up in the cockpit that are all electric, but we also have an electric thick privacy curtain that cuts off and separates the cockpit from the rest of the bus. So this is an, a really nice feature and can be convenient in many ways. And it's push button, all electric, it takes care of it for you and separates your cockpit from the coach. Before we take the test drive, let's go check out the bays. Look at massive storage in this coach. I mean, you could put a motorcycle with the handles down. Uh, massive storage, you got electrical circuit panel on left. We'll see that other side. Another massive storage. All the books and owner's manuals are here. A uh, little extension ladder to reach up top. This is your generator over here. Two big inverters. Air chuck, so you got an air on the other side too. So passenger and a, and a driver's side if you want to fill your air up, easy access. Over here, we got a Norcold freezer, refrigerator, outside party pack stuff, and it works great. And people probably wonder, where's TV? Well, guess what? Nowadays, a 50 inch TV, I lift it up with my hand. You can put 84 inch TV in that big box if you want to get it out. Uh, so a lot of, a lot of storage. This is your variable speed 120 volt Mach 5 water pump. Those folks have a regular motorhome. They say, wow, is that a water pump? Yes, this is not like your American Eagle or Allegro or Newmar King Air 12 volt. This is a big daddy. Anyways, uh, you got a water fill here. All the bays are heated like you would expect. All right, uh, by the way, tires are 26, uh, like 2019. And they, were, they haven't been used in a year. So these are practically new tires. 365 on a tag and uh, Dooley's at 315. All right, let's look on the driver's side. So this is your engine chassis tie, side, all electronics. You can pull that lunch and whole front bumper falls off. That's crazy, but you could do that. 
Uh, and it's got storage there. You could also access your front uh, cruise air, air conditioned components, all that. Pretty, pretty neat. All right. Uh, side cameras. By the way, there are lights under the slide outs. It's beautiful at night. So that's the other side I was showing you. Those are resettable fuse, and over here are regular uh, your electric circuit breakers. All these doors, obviously, they have electric door locks. You could just click one click and opens up. That's the other side of that pass-through storage. This is where some of your cruise air components are. Another big compartment here. That's your wet bay here. Uh, by the way, I had a hard time getting a, a fresh water tank hose hooked up. It may need a 12 volt motor or something. Not a big deal. Everything else works fine, functional outside shower. Like I said, you have a two outside shower, one on the other side and here, an outside hose wheel too. So, you know, if you wanted to wash your motor home with your own water, you sure could do that. And I like the fact this door's close like this. Isn't it nice? You can see those lights on the bottom of the slide that I was talking about. Hey, let's come around and check out this engine bay area. All right, here we go. Uh, Detroit Series 60, the legendary, one and only. It's 14.0 liter Detroit Series 60. This thing with a half a million miles, guess what? It's got another half a million mile under its buckle. If you dare to put that miles about a Million miles, you can rebuild it for about twenty, thirty thousand dollars, and guess what? It's ready to go another million miles. Uh, nice bay, engine area, very well taken care of. Over here, we have a more electronics for chassis area. Uh, chassis side, you can turn everything off. This is where you would jump it off. Your twenty-four volt batteries are here. Your coach batteries would be hidden under this wood, uh, the dually area. That's how Venteri does. So that completes our circle of exterior bay. All right, it's time for a test drive. Now, right before we hit the road, I wanna go through the cockpit. So way on the left here, we have cruise air controls for all our four cruise airs, as well as some shade controls. And down here, we have uh, manual air leveling right there. So you can manually, manually level up the coach using that bubble. Individual mirror controls. We also have auto level here. Click it once, it levels the coach up. This is to control our little toll booth window. Standard Prevo cruise control controls right here. And the cruise control is super cool. How it works when you hear the air leveling work right now. If you have cruise control set at a certain speed, you can use your transmission retarder. So if you set your transmission retarder somewhere, wherever you'd like, um, as long as it's engaged, if it's not engaged, it won't do it at all. But what it does is act as an automatic uh, retarder. So if you're coming down a hill and you have cruise control set at 70 and you have your transmission retarder set somewhere on one of the six settings, it will use whatever power you have given it to slow the bus down and keep it at 70 automatically. So super nice system in conjunction with the transmission retarder. Now over here you can directly just turn the transmission retarder off completely if you want because what happens is even if you don't have the transmission retarder engaged, if you hit the brakes, it automatically engages the transmission retarder. So it's kind of nice to have that feature. This is our fast idle right here. Headlight controls, um, mirror heat. We have automatic docking so you can just turn them on directly if you want. You can also dim the docking lights which is kind of cool. Um, this is nice if you want to just run them on the road and you don't want them to be, be too bright you can just have them on low docking, which is just, like I said, dimmed version of docking lights. Cornering uh, means it automatically, the dock lights stay off until you use the indicator. If you use the indicator, they will turn on automatically. Um, and then the center is just off. This is to test all the lights. So you see that? Oh no, I have a Christmas tree. Actually, no, I was just testing it, right? See that? You can test and make sure someone hasn't popped the light out. So standard Prevo stuff, H345, you can totally disconnect the chassis power when you cut the bus off from right there. On the right, we have our total vision control. Dash air, as well as a little auxiliary blower. We have a radar detector, which is kind of funny. Um, I probably has the fuse turned off because these are infuriating to, to hear. Camera select, so it does have side cameras installed. This is an upgrade. 
a beautiful upgrade. And this screen is also a beautiful upgrade right there too. That's an upgraded screen. And we have shade controls and all that good stuff. OnStar, first time I've seen OnStar in a bus. That's kind of cool. We have more storage down here, as well as a charger and an extra little cup holder. So very well thought out and nice designed, nicely designed cockpit. Classic Prevost stuff. You can use your gauges right here to watch oil temperature, all that good stuff. You have your ICC flash right there. Um, all these, this stock is one of the most heavy duty stocks you'll find. Great cockpit and the steering wheel, perfect. But what re really makes this cockpit come together is the fact that it drives like the best Prevo bus. It's definitely the best driving Prevo bus that I've driven. And uh, let me go get on the road and show you. You can tell that this was driven many miles by someone who's, who was extremely experienced driving many miles in the coach. And I guarantee you, if this was a shot of him sitting in my seat, his hands would be dead quiet, just easing through these lanes. But me being slightly more inexperienced than that person, I can grasp the idea though, and I can see the skill. I can sense that this was driven by someone who knew the details because the front end feels so solid. It's absolutely rock solid. The front end is super tight. There's no play whatsoever. And I was taking a peek underneath the front end. All those control arms and bushings look freaking new. They look new. And they just had it serviced too. They kept it at a Prevo facility. They kept it at the Prevo facility in Nashville, Nashville, Nashville Prevo, which is one of the best Prevo shops you can find. I can't stress it enough. H345, when you get them right, and some of the nicest H3s I've driven were coaches that had high miles on them. The last uh, H345 I took to the beach was a 2005 Prevo Featherlight coach. Double slide, bath and a half. You, must have, you might have seen the how-to video I did on it. And that coach had 350,000 miles, was owned by a race team, a very uh, premier race team. And it drove absolutely beautifully. The, the gentleman who bought it was stunned with how it drove. And that's how it is with this, except times 10. Look at that, going around this corner is where you'd really, you know, you can stress that chassis and find out if it has that sway and it absolutely does not. Look at this, I haven't even touched the brakes yet. <laughs> and they really took care of this bus. You can, you can tell when you walk in and out of it. They weren't people that let their stuff go to rot. Uh, this stuff, this is a coach that's, pro that, all day long you can say it's better than new i i would say it's better than new you know including the upgrades and everything there might not you know there might be a flaw here and there that you can find with a magnifying glass guess what this is reality the fact that this was used and taken care of um the way it was taken care of puts it way beyond a lot of newer coaches in my opinion all the feelers that i know all the ways that i know to check out a coach are checked off on this bus okay upgrades underneath the chassis side is so important okay because when a chassis is this tight and this well put together and this well maintained that's the stuff that most people don't pay attention to because it's underneath most people pay attention to the surface level stuff they want to upgrade the lights and then and the this and then that and that's okay but when you have fundamentals like this underneath that are rock solid it's just a huge sign that a huge flag um, that someone has been really paying attention to the details that take a bus to the next level, to the next level of the nearest perfection you can get, okay? Because that's another league. Anyways, I'm gonna ramble about how great this bus drives, but it's an absolute dream. This is the best H345 I've driven, hands down. And uh, yeah, this is quite an incredible bus. I might go ahead and say this is the best Prevo bus I've driven because this is just incredible. So that's that cruise control. Look at this. I can just lock in here. Even me with the inexperience as far as miles under my belt, I can sit here and just find a spot and just let it sit there. I'm going to get in the scent left here because we have a little undulation on the road. And I want to demonstrate that again. 
This is a great driving coach, though. Absolutely great driving coach. Uh, the Series 60 is the 14 liter, has noticeably more power um, than the 12.7. I hate to say, it. I mean, it's not a huge difference, and you can tune up a 12.7 to make a lot of power, but you definitely notice getting in that this is a 14 liter. It has a little more oomph. You know, here, here's that brings me to another fact. Um, you know, I heard from a Walmart a truck driver that we sold a coach to, super amazing couple. I hope they're watching this video. They probably aren't. <laughs> they're probably out there enjoying their coach right now, which is what they're now doing, living in their coach. But he said that the Detroit Series 60 break in around 125,000 miles. So if you're driving a bus with 125,000 miles, um, he said they noticed more power at that when it got to that, when they got to those miles and uh, better fuel mileage. Yeah, this is definitely the best Prevo bus I've driven. I mean, the front end is beautifully tight. It's not too loose. There's no play whatsoever. Uh, the front end is tight. Like I said, 10,000 times. It's so quiet in here. You know, an H345 Prevo, what I noticed when I took that trip I did in the 05 Featherlight Prevo coach, which was a great driving bus, but again, couldn't hold a candle to how this drives. Uh, I, the biggest thing I noted was the lack of fatigue. When I got out of the bus at the end of the trip, I felt like I could keep going another four hours. And that's the same, I mean, look at this. <laughs> it's just it's just hanging out. There's It makes driving so relaxing and just enjoying 100%. You're not dealing, with, you're dealing with so little of the sway. So little things affect this bus because it's A, really heavy, okay? And it's B, one of the strongest and most rigid chassis. It's a bus chassis, monocoque stainless steel chassis. And on top of that, it was owned by Clint Black. I mean, it's just this bus in particular, okay? Because it's not any Prevo bus. Again, I will say it's not any Prevo bus. It comes down to the maintenance, and it comes down to who owned it and how much they cared about it. Because that, it makes the difference. And this bus had to be in tip-top shape all the, all the time. And they spent the money. But my gosh, look at this. This is just so enjoyable. Let me, I'm just going to focus on driving. <laughs> this and I have neck support and I'm in an extremely comfortable chair this is so quiet in here too I have an air conditioning vent blowing on my head I'm getting cold and it's hot outside I'm cold in here you know how rare that is in a class A bus you're typically sitting up in a, a globe of sun and it just get I'm cold right now I have my own cruise air just hanging out no generator by the way just running off the batteries <laughs> and the inverters which by the way are charged by the engine so while mine enjoys driving, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Please contact us at 864-404-0054 or mine 864-376-5600. Please subscribe to our channel. We thank you again for watching our videos. Suzanne, they are living their American dream in their American dream. Just wanted to shout out at them. Nail it. <laughs>